are watching meteorologist Mark Molnar here at Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewer sent in photos, Virginia area. Back on Saturday with that snowstorm that was occurring across the area, Robert was driving south and southwestward here from Roanoke on southward. And take a look at the snow totals that were occurring, several inches of slushy wet accumulation even occurring on the roads as the evening progressed. So very nice captures here from Robert Stone in his travels along the roadway. So this was a spring snow to behold here. Very nice captures, Robert. Taking a look at Lucas, slow motion lightning across the Linden, Texas region. Take a look at this. I'll show you. It's a pretty long video, so I'll show you little snippets over the next couple of weather segments. So very nice captures of slow motion lightning, Lucas from Linden, Texas. Let's get right into the forecast. West area, void of precipitation back east here from the Mid-Sississippi Delta all the way up the Ohio Valley. We're looking at two, three inches, two to three inches of liquid equivalent, heavy rains and thunderstorms moving their way up on the east side of this trough into the northeast, places like New York State and Pennsylvania in southern New England dealing with rain showers, maybe some frozen precipitation up here in northern New York into northern New England. Take a look at that pattern. Ridge developing out west big trough here in the Midwest into portions of the east. It's that east side of the trough. The unsettled pattern will continue into Easter weekend as that trough lifts northeast. Let's get right into the snowfall totals. Pretty much Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're not looking at too much snowfall totals, but I want to watch later Friday night into Saturday into Sunday portions of Western New York, Southern Ontario, the Tug Hill Plateau, places like Syracuse on northeastward towards the Adirondacks, maybe even the Northern Catskills here. We're looking at the possibility of some wet slushy accumulation with some possible lake effect. And also as the system transitions Friday and Friday night from rain to snow across the area. So right now there's a lot of details to work out and I will update these maps accordingly. But right now we're looking at at least a couple inches of slushy accumulation towards the Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, especially along the I-90 corridor of upstate New York on northward. So watch for that. Ice totals, most of these will be on Wednesday, wet early Wednesday morning from Interstate 81 Binghamton to Syracuse on eastward. Those normally colder sheltered valleys and the hilltops could be experiencing some heavy uh, light to moderate, heavy at times rain, but most of this will be light to moderate ice accumulations, maybe about a tenth of an, up to a tenth of an inch possible. Taking a look at the forecast for your Wednesday, warming up, once we get past some of this spotty pockets of freezing rain here in the Catskills, Poconos, Adirondacks, White, and Berkshire Mountains on northeastward, we erode that and later in the day, we even break out some sun towards Buffalo later in the day, up towards the 50s, and areas Further west will be the warmest areas as that warm front slowly lifts to the north into your Thursday. Warm front pushes to the northeast, sets the stage for a cold front to the west. So later on Thursday into Thursday night, we'll have some showers kicking in. But for most of the day on Thursday, we'll have spotty precipitation, showers mostly. Very little in the form of frozen precipitation at this point because Thursday looks like the warmest day across the northeast, 50s. 60s towards the coastline. Binghamton on westward. Some areas could be cracking 60 here into Friday. Take a look at this. Friday not looking too bad across the northeast. We're stuck between the front towards the coast and the front back west here towards the lower Great Lakes. And it's here back west here. You see scattered showers back east here. But back west towards Buffalo, Erie, Pennsylvania. Later in the day that cold front will come pushing through. Rain will start changing and mixing with wet snowflakes and snow. And that's where we could get the possibility, of course, Toronto and northward. That's where you'll be in the thick of some snow, probably later on Friday into Saturday. But temperatures will be falling even towards Binghamton, 49, Scranton, 52 to 53. So we're not as warm as Thursday into Saturday. Take a look at this. We push the system off pretty much off the coastline here. And basically we're stuck with high pressure to well to our southwest here. So we will have some lake effect snow problems here in upstate New York, western New York, maybe northern 
Tug Hill area into Syracuse area. So we're going to watch here. This will probably be one of our coldest days. Temperatures struggling to get out of the lower 40s, even the upper 30s in much of the area, even towards the coastline down towards New York City and Long Island, struggling to get out of the upper 40s. Take a look at my five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna River Basin. Wednesday through Easter Day, take a look at this. Wednesday, dealing with midday to early afternoon showers, maybe a tenth to a quarter inch. Pockets of freezing rain before about 8 a.m. in the area. But take a look at this into Thursday. We're heading up towards 60 degrees. So maybe some record highs across the area. Uh, take a look at that towards later in the evening. We'll have rain showers moving in, maybe up to a quarter inch overnight Thursday night into Friday. Take a look at that. Temperatures struggling. Well, we're pushing down towards the upper 40s once the first cold front moves through. Scattered showers throughout the day into Saturday. Friday night into Saturday, snow showers will start to mix with the rain showers and lake effect kicks in for both Saturday and Sunday for both rain and snow showers. Wet snowflakes possible. Temperatures being held down right around 40 by Easter Sunday. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark, comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.